Ever since the middle of this year, I've been using a Keychron keyboard in collaboration between Keychron and OnePlus. Actually, that's the one you guys see right there on my desk. It's been there, I've been using it, I love it. And when Keychron reached out to me about their Q1 Max, their brand new keyboard that just got released, I was actually very excited to see what some of their other iterations and maybe using a different type of switches on it will allow me to do. So without further ado, this is my review of the Q1 Max from Keychron, an amazing looking keyboard that is not only portable, but also multifunctional. Let's check it out. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified to whenever we have new videos on the channel. And of course, make sure to check out the details about the giveaway for you to be able to win one of these keyboards yourself. So here's the box, Keychron Q1 Max. This is the latest edition. There is a pro and a standard model, but this is the Max version with the knob that's positioned right here on the top right. It's a 75% wireless keyboard, a mechanical keyboard specifically, because we don't have the number pad and they do sell different versions that have that, but the Q1 Max does not have that. Uh, and it's an open source customizable keyboard. You're able to use their own software via, and of course you can also use some third party software. We'll talk about that a little bit. Uh, Q1 Max with the M1, it does come with the red cherry. Uh, this is the red switches essentially the Keychron uh, with the ones, the Jupiter ones that they have. Uh, they do have other options, but this is the one I decided to get. Now, I always love talking about the functionalities, of course, 75% keyboard, this is what we covered. Dual gasket design, much better for not only sturdiness, but also uh, ruggedness over the years. Uh, overall, it is compatible with not only Windows and Mac, but it also works on Android if you're able to connect it over Bluetooth, since it does support that. Uh, KMK Via, and of course, those are the two different softwares that you're able to use. The KMK and Via both are web tools designed to work via Chrome. Just make sure you have the latest version of Chrome and you'll be able to connect it. Now, next thing here, we have the connectivity options. We have three different ones, wired, Bluetooth, and wireless. The wireless is via dongle at 2.4 gigahertz for that low latency gaming experience. Bluetooth is going to work great, a little bit more latency, so more so for maybe for tablets or smartphones. And of course, wired is going to always be the best because that is going to give you the straight, lowest latency and best performance. And of course, charge up your actual keyboard when you're not uh, using it. It does have a built-in battery in case you need that. A pair up to three different de devices with Bluetooth devices. That's going to be a really nice thing. So you can connect it to three different ones. And of course, a screw-in stabilizer built in here to be able to customize it. Battery life, the 4,000 milliampere battery will last you up to 180 hours and there is no question there this is something to keep in mind uh, the you have backlit here so the number they're giving you here is when you have the backlit's light off because that will obviously take more battery lighting effect 22 plus light effects uh, with the switch from that's going to be easy to configure and you can just customize all of that on the keyboard now, as far as what we get inside of the box, because I'm pretty sure you guys want to see the keyboard itself, uh, we have a quick start guide explaining to us the different connectivity options. Again, one would be basically connecting using the dongle, using the option, configuring for Windows or Mac, two, connecting it via Bluetooth, or even connecting it via the wired cable. That's going to be kind of the main option. And a couple of options in here as far as the function one and all the different options that we have on the back from three, four, five, six. Via is going to be the software from Keychron, although again, it is compatible with other software online. Uh, the layer option here are configured to be basically between Windows and Mac. So zero and one is going to be for Mac and then two and three are going to be for Windows. The layer is multiply basically switched between with the function key on the keyboard and we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, backlighting is configurable using the options right there, adjusting the backlighting brightness in here, the warranty configuration of any issues that you may have, tutorials, they have videos of course if you want to be able to learn exactly how to change your switches and of course how to actually reset the actual uh, keyboard. You're basically pretty much set. It is in here, you can customize it and if you're not happy there is an email in here that basically just says support at keychron.com for any questions you may have. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and take this out. And here we are, the beautiful Q1 Max. Now, I chose to go with this color scheme. There is two. There's more of the gray tone in there. But I felt like this one looked really nice. And yes, it is obviously going to be a little bit more, um, obviously more maintenance required because it's wide keycaps. But it is going to be definitely a lot of fun. In the box, they do include, out of the box actually, it comes in with the Mac configuration. And it's pretty simple to configure it to switch it over. As I'm showing you guys right now with that little B-roll of a clip, I went ahead and removed the uh, Windows key, the Alt key on both sides of the keyboard and then basically just replaced uh well i removed the mac uh, configuration and that would be the options and the mac uh, option in there put those in there switch them over with the alt and the keyboard and it is pretty straightforward the switches themselves that are actually coming with this keyboard are the red switches you are able to change them there's three different configurations that keychron is providing right now but out of the box this is pretty much how i have it now you notice right there there's a few buttons in here that give us options to be able to customize uh, there's the brightness here of course on the windows uh, the recents app opening uh, you know your file explorer brightness here on the keyboard that's going to be the configuration for the brightness level 
play, pause, media, and of course, uh, volume level, not only here with the knob that you're able to configure, but also we have the delete, page up, page down, home, all the different buttons that you need. And it is pretty much a, again, 75%, meaning we're missing some of the functions that are there that we typically get with a keyboard that has the number pad on it. Now, as far as what else do they include, we have more dampeners, additional screws in case you need them. Again, the additional Mac keyboard, the instruction manual. They do include a re well, screwdriver, a regular Phillips, and of course, uh, here in the Allen wrench. Last but not least, of course, the uh, tool to be able to not only remove the keycaps themselves, as well as the actual switches. And you're gonna be able to use that to be able to configure that as I showed you guys in that little B-roll clip right there. As far as adapters, in the box, it comes with a USB-C to C cable. This is a six foot USB-C to C cable. This is a Keychron cable. And of course we have a USB-C to USB-A for your PCs that support it. A USB-A connector that's gonna be your 2.4 adapter that allows us to run wireless connectivity for low latency gaming, especially when you wanna play wirelessly. And last but not least, of course, if your PC does not seem to support this functionality, because again, Macs do not have uh, that function, you're able to connect it to this adapter, connect the USB-C cable, and of course, using the cable itself adaption, connect it directly to your PC. And now you're able to connect to almost every single PC, be it Mac or PC with the Keychron, wired or wireless. Now, one thing they do mention to you guys is whenever you're using uh, the tool to remove and reinsert the actual switches themselves as you're able to change them, be very careful and make sure you align the pins directly into the actual space that they're positioned in there. Because if you make any mistake, that could damage the pin on the actual switch and of course make the switch non-usable. And worse, even if the actual pin gets broken off inside of the keyboard, it's gonna need some help to be able to get things configured. So you're able to configure everything, remove, uh, you can technically just remove them. As you can see, I have red switches right there and and then of course, just put them back, align them directly to where they need to, put them on, push it in. And it is very simple and very easy to set up. Looking around the actual keyboard, as we see all the buttons, everything is pretty much configured. Uh, we don't have replacement colors for those, although I'm sure you can pick up some aftermarket ones. Uh, the keys that are provided to us to replace are for again, to get the Windows and Mac configuration going. Now, as far as the left side here, you'll notice there's a few switches. There's the USB-C cable. That's going to be the one we connect directly into our device. We can use that directly into our Mac, our PC, or even our Android device, as long as it has a compatibility for it. On the left side of that, we'll see that there is a Windows and Mac. Let me go ahead and turn it over since you guys probably want to read those uh, little key, uh, key caps there. So there's Windows and Mac, and you can set that up. By default, it is out of the box on the Mac side. Although for the most part, it pretty much just depends on how your system is. I keep it on Windows. Again, this is layer two. Uh, three and four, uh, sorry, uh, two and three, zero and one are gonna be on the Mac side and then a reverse. Now, as far as the switch on the right side here, this is where you're able to turn it on to Bluetooth mode, up to three devices, cable mode, obviously straight one device, and then G mode, that's gonna be the one talking about using this. This is that 2.4 gigahertz, so let's go ahead and let it focus, Keychron adapter that allows us to actually have that low wireless latency for gaming. And I've been playing with this Call of Duty and absolutely fantastic, no latency at all. Other than that, on the bottom, we have four offsets. One, two, three, four. The key, uh, the little screws here are positioned. They do provide you with the tools in case you wanna be able to open it up and check it out if you have any problems. And other than that, you're able to remove every single one of these keys, replace every single one of these switches. And of course, they provide you all the tools you need. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys wanna see some of the different patterns that you're able to do. One thing I'll say that you're able to configure the brightness of the actual keyboard. In case you wanna get the longest battery, this is gonna give you that one, they were talking about 180 hours with that 4,000 milliampere battery. If you turn off the lights, you're not gonna have any problems, the keyboard works, but you'll get the longest battery life. And of course, those are the two little key caps here, function and brightness, that will increase the brightness to the actual keyboard. And now at this point, you're able to see the different options. Now, one thing to note when you notice the here on the keyboard on the top or the left side here, we have one, two, three, and four. The fourth one is obviously the wireless for the 2.4 gigahertz. But of course, if you have one, two, three, those are the three Bluetooth devices that you're able to pair. Using the function and the button that you want, you'll be able to basically turn on the pairing mode and then switch between one, two, and three. So very simple switching. Everything is literally on the keyboard for you to know exactly how the different functionality. Layer three and four when, when in Windows mode is what you're essentially switching when you're using that function key. When you use the function key, it changes the configuration. And when you're changing it from there, you'll notice this is kind of like the color in there. We'll change it one more time. Let's uh, give it a second to finish. Those are the solid red. I'll switch it again. I'll go ahead and solid purple and blue, different colors. You're able to change the different options here with the function in the queue. But otherwise, keeping it on the configuration. Right now I have it on Bluetooth mode. And once you find it right there, Keychron Q1 Max, allow it to connect. Of course, say allow and then say pair. Your device will be connected. I'll give it a second to finish. I use and 
again, use it the way you want it. You can go ahead and click on it, use the actual page up, page down. <laughs> you can just, again, not to say that this is the way you want to do it, but if you have a tablet or something like that, this is going to work perfectly fine. So, as you saw there, works great with the smartphone. Uh, I think it's obviously going to work better when you have it, let's say, connected to a TV PC, uh, like one of those little tiny PCs in there that you have behind a TV or a TV stick, because that makes it so that it works much easier for you. If you have the ability of connecting the 2.4 gigahertz uh, dongle that they provide, that's where the low latency comes in and it becomes very functional for Bluetooth, well, for wireless connectivity to play games, especially the way I like to play Call of Duty mobile here. Sorry, Call of Duty on my desktop and mobile on the phone. It makes it very nice and very simple to configure. And having it wireless with the dongle allows me to have that low latency because we're wireless at that point. We're not using Bluetooth. It does support Bluetooth. I don't recommend you playing games with that, but if you're using it with a tablet, let's say using it with your PC again, or that wireless connection to a TV by just browsing and typing, it's going to work great. For gaming, the dongle and wired are going to be your best bet. For Bluetooth, you can connect up to three devices. And I love the fact that almost everything that you need to do on this is on the keyboard and is ready to go out of the box. Charge it up. It does have a 4,000 milliampere battery and it will last you a really long time wirelessly. And when you do need to top it off, plug it in overnight. By the time you come back in the morning, it's ready to go again. Very simple, very easy, and they include everything in there. The build quality is absolutely fantastic. This has some weight. As I said before, this is a portable keyboard, uh, but I will probably say it's not going to be the lightest keyboard on the market. Keychron also does sell a key, uh, cover for this. So if you guys want to be able to pick that up, it'll help protect the keys whenever you're traveling with it. There's also some, uh, you know, armrests and stuff like that. But at least for the Q1 Max, I love the configuration. I love the connectivity. I love the weight, the responsiveness of the red switches. With, there's also banana switches as well as brown switches available for this. And it, obviously each one will have a little bit different experience. But let's not waste any time. I want to share with you guys a quick clip now, obviously, of some typing on the Q1 Max. Let's check it out. To round it up, if you're looking for a keyboard for your everyday connectivity, be it your PC, your Mac, your phone, your tablet, your PC that's connected to the TV, the Q1 Max is definitely going to answer all of the mail and then some. Configuring it and customizing it using the desktop configuration options that we have in there, VIA and some of the other options in there. I think it's the uh, QMK available as well. It's obviously very easy. It's open source supported, so it's very simple and very easy to customize. And it looks great. Like seriously, some of their options in there, uh, there is a couple of options as far as the colors. There's this color. And of course, there is the brownish color. I like the knob because I'm also able to reconfigure that if I want to. And it also provides me some controls in here. It works both on Windows and Mac. Easy configuration switch. Boom, I'm ready to go. And they also provide us with the keycaps to make the keyboard look more functional in the ecosystem that it needs to run. Okay, if you stay to the end of the video with me here, let's talk about the giveaway and what is required and what are you going to get. First, let's talk about the price. It is a Q1 Max for your own. So this is going to be one for yourself. They were nice enough to offer us an extra one and they're going to ship it directly to you. So you can go and pick the design that you want, the color that you want, the key switches, sorry, the switches, and of course, get everything customized the way you want. Let me know once you are selected and confirm and we'll share that with them directly and they'll send it directly to you. Now, how to enter. The entry period is going to be from the 30th of December, 2023, all the way till January 6th, the end of the day. That's midnight Pacific Standard Time in the US, uh, the end of the 6th of January. So you have basically the ability of entering once a day by entering a comment on the bottom of this video. So it's pretty straightforward as far as how to enter. You have up to seven days, seven different entries. As long as you come back and add a new comment, you're more than welcome. Not responding to your own comment, but like just add another comment so we have a different entry because I'm going to try to select based on that level. And it is one per day. The other thing I'll probably say as far as the actual uh, availability, again, it is US only, so it will ship only to a US address. If you live outside of the US, but you have somebody in the US that you'd love to gift this to, so basically you know that they would be appreciative of getting a keyboard like this, you'll be able to provide that information for me, confirm it once you are selected, and we'll go from there. And I'll make the selection on Sunday as I'm getting ready to go to CES. So we'll start talking about that a little bit more there. But 
I want to say thank you very much to Keychron for sending this over. The Q1 Max is absolutely banger. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you guys. My son already stole this. This is there's his new gaming uh, rig setup. He's been playing a lot more games, so he definitely is going to appreciate this. I still have mine. I don't know if you guys could see it right here. This is that one plus one I talked to you guys about before. And uh, there may be a possibility to do a little bit more collaboration with Keychron in the future. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Thank you very much for the support. And uh, yeah, if you're watching this right before it turns into 2024, Happy New Year.